subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is external morphology of cockroach cockroach or the periplaneta americana it belongs to phylum arthropoda and class insecta as it has a three three pairs of jointed appendages which are characteristic of class insecta these are nocturnal cursorial omnivores nocturnal means they move at night cursorial means they are fast running omnivores the body is elongated dorsi ventrally flattened means the dorsal and the ventral surface can be differentiated and are approximately 34 to 53 mm long with the female slightly smaller than the males the body is covered by a hard chitinous exoskeleton these are hardened plates called as sclerites they are present in each segment dorsally they are referred as tergites and ventrally they are referred as sternites and they are together joined by a flexible articular membrane called the arthrodial membrane they have a segmented body and their wings are also present the body can be divided into three parts head thorax and abdomen we'll start with the head head as you can see is triangular in shape and is at right angle to the long axis of the body the head too is covered by the chitinous exoskeleton or you can say the sclerites are present at the head forming the head capsule head is formed by the fusion of six segments and it can move in all direction due to the presence of a highly flexible neck present at the end head are a pair of compound eyes now these are the compound eyes present at the head that are made up of 2000 omatidia also present in the head are a pair of antennae antennae arises from a membranous socket present in front of the eye a pair of antennae that arise from the membranous socket present in front of the eye they are sensory receptors they can sense the environment helping them to monitor the environment they are the main receptors for touch temperature and vibration at the anterior end of the head lies the mouth the mouth parts are of biting and chewing type it consists of a pair of mandibles now these are the mandibles a pair of maxillae labrum which is the upper lip labium which is the lower lip and enclosed within the mouth parts is a median flexible lobe called the hypopharynx which acts as the tongue next is the thorax now the head is attached to the thorax by a flexible neck which is actually an extension of the prothorax 
The thorax can be divided into three parts. Prothorax, this is the prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Each segment of the thorax bear a pair of legs. Now this is in the prothorax, metathorax and mesothorax. The first pair of wings lie in the mesothorax. Now these are the first pair of wings that lie in the mesothorax. They are referred as tegmina. They are long, narrow, dark and leathery and they cover the hind wings at rest. The second pair of wings called the hind wings, they lie in the metathorax. Now these are the hind wings which lie in the metathorax. They are transparent, membranous, small and broad and they are used in flight. Now the abdomen consists of 10 segments. 7 segments are visible in the female and 9 segments are visible in the male. The remaining get modified and reduced. And of the 10 segments, the 7th one or the 7th sternum is the largest. In females, the 7th sternum is boat shape and along with the 8th and the ninth sternum, they form the genital pouch, also known as the brood, which consists of the female gonophore, spermatical pore and collateral glands. While in case of the males, the genital pouch lies at the hind end of the body. It is bounded dorsally, that is on the dorsal side, lie the ninth and the 10th terga, and on the ventral side lies the 10th sternum. The, the genital pouch has dorsal anus, ventral male genital pore and gonapophysis. Wings in the female are small and extend to the hind end of the body, while wings in the male are large and they extend beyond the hind end of the body. In both the male and the female, the 10th segment present at the 10th segment is a pair of jointed filamentous structure called the anal cerci. It is a filamentous structure called the anal cerci. While in the males, present at the 9th segment, is a pair of short anal style. Now these are the anal style. Legs of a cockroach can be divided into five parts. Coxa, the thigh-like structure coxa. This is your trochanter. femur, tibia and the fifth one is tarsus. So the leg of the cockroach has four, five parts, coxa, the smaller trochanter, femur, tibia and tarsus. In the next video, we'll go through the anatomy of cockroach. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.